Welcome back to my little channel. Now, not too long ago, I made a stream and we were talking about oikophobia and anti-white racism and how the two are in line with one another. I thought it was a very good stream. I really enjoyed it. And I think that the people who were there watching it might also have enjoyed it. I assume they did. But I'm a small channel and not a lot of my viewers watch my streams. But my videos have a slightly higher view count, so I thought, you know what, maybe I should make a small video on the topic of oikophobia. Because oikophobia is something that is really affecting our society. Badly. Okay, what is oikophobia? Oikophobia is an irrational fear, because that's what a phobia is, of one's own culture or the home situation. Now that's broad. I know it is. Oikophobia can be two things. I mean, you can be afraid of the house you live in and the electrical appliances within your house. That is oikophobia. But that's not the sort of oikophobia I'm going to talk about now. The sort of oikophobia I'm going to talk about now is the distrust, dislike and fear of your own culture. Well, that doesn't make sense. Yeah, I know it doesn't, but it's a thing. Trust me on this. How do we know this is a thing? Because we have a lot of people who are negative towards our own culture for no other reason than we're negative towards our own culture. This culminates in the fact that they are okay to criticize their own culture, but obviously you can never say anything negative towards other cultures. Now, Reason Vision, one of my regular viewers, um, responded by saying oikophobia is the opposite of xenophobia, hatred of the foreign. And in a way, he's correct, but it's worse. Now, why is it worse? Well, because you can hate the foreign and leave the foreign out of your society without inherently damaging your society. I mean, you might not give yourself the chance to grow and to get new insights and whatnot, but it doesn't inherently damage your society. Oikophobia will always damage your own society because it's against your own society. And you know that um, the traitor within is far worse than the soldier without. This is something that becomes very clear because if we look at things that happen throughout history, always the same things are being brought up. For example, why are Western societies bad? Let's name slavery. Well, Western societies participated in slavery and therefore are to blame for slavery. Are Western societies the only societies that participated in slavery? No, everyone participated in slavery. So why are Western societies worse? Well, because we don't talk about the other societies it's our society we're going to attack. It's our society I have a problem with. I am an oikophobe. Ah, but can you then also recognize that it's Western societies that fought and died to end slavery around the world, mind you. They failed, by the way. Never mind that. But they tried. Yeah, but I'm oikophobic. So I don't see that. Because that doesn't mean anything. What means something is that a handful of Nah, that's not fair to say a handful. Let's say a few million, let's say 12 million slaves were brought from Africa to the, the Americas, both South and North America. Only about 300,000 were brought to what we now call the United States of America. Okay, fair enough. So are we going to blame all the American countries for slavery? No, 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 no. We're only going to blame the United States. Again, because the United States is the epitome of Western society. And I'm blaming Western society. I'm an oikophobe. So I'm not going to talk about Brazil. I'm not going to talk about Mexico. I'm not going to talk about Colombia. Where some of this shit is still happening. It's illegal there, but it still happens. Let's be honest. Lots of, um, how do you call them? Drugs cartels. They're, they're, they're not employing people. Now, that's not the only place where slavery still happens, because in Africa and in the Middle East, it still happens. But we're also not going to talk about that. Why? Because that's not our culture. The oikophobe only blames their own culture. 
And as soon as you point out that some other culture are bad too, well, you would be called a Hitler or a Nazi because that's our culture. But not really, because there are lots of cultures in Europe at the time of the Nazis. I mean, the English, the French, the Dutch, the Belgian, they all had vastly different cultures than Hitler's Nazi party. Yeah, but that doesn't matter because they're all Western European. They're all white, whatever that means. Okay, so why is Hitler so bad? Well, he killed 12 million people, 6 million Jews. But uh, yeah, the other ones don't mind. Well, who cares about the other millions? They, Hitler has killed the, the, the mentally disabled, the Roma, the gypsies. The Roma and gypsies are almost the same. Maybe they are the same. I don't know. Well, but they don't count either because they are of Western culture. So we talk about the 6 million Jews, but we ignore all the other ones. Fair enough. Hitler was a bastard. I'm not going to defend Hitler. I have no reason to defend Hitler. I agree when you tell me Hitler was a bastard. But is all of Europe to blame for what Hitler did? Hell, I'm not even going to blame all of the Germans, because only half of them, less than half of them, voted for Hitler. But once a government gets into power, it's very difficult to go against said government. This is something you could see, for example, with Obama in the United States. By the way, Obama was an oikophobe because he didn't care about American culture. Race relations under Obama have gotten so much worse that, um, yeah, but you can't mention it because the black people are innocent and the white people are evil. Fair enough, oikophobia. Now, don't get me wrong, not all black people think like this, not all white people think like this. The oikophobe thinks like this. Most people aren't oikophobic, but oikophobia is a growing problem. Now, going back to Hitler. Hitler was a bad guy because he was responsible for the death of six million Jews. Never mind the six million other people that died in the concentration camps. Okay, was Stalin bad? Now, why would Stalin have been bad? Well, because he created Holodomor. Well, he didn't create it. It's not so much that he said, okay, let's build this. But he's responsible for Holodomor. What's Holodomor? Well, it's about 20 million Ukrainians dying of starvation because of the way the Russian uh, rulers decided that the food needed to be distributed and food needed to be grown. Well, yeah, that's probably bad too. I've um, never heard of it. How come you never heard of it? Well, because our schooling system doesn't mention it. Why doesn't our schooling not mention it? Because they were the communists. Communists are not of our culture. They're not Western culture. Therefore, no criticism should go to communism. So 20 million deaths in the Ukraine, not a big deal. The people dying in concentration camps under Hitler, a big enough deal to blame all white people, even the ones who fought against the Germans, for the rest of history, for the rest of time. This is what the oikophobe does. Now, I find it especially funny if you look, for example, at America or, or Great Britain. Great Britain is a good example. In Great Britain, people talk about how Great Britain is such a racist country. Mm, kind of forgetting that Great Britain used its navy to fight slave traders and slave transporters on the Atlantic Ocean. They actually died to stop racism, or rather, stop slavery not racism obviously because you will always have racism why will you always have racism because racism isn't a thing it's a made-up term i mean it's discrimination based on ethnicity well it's discrimination based on race no it's not discrimination based on race because there is only one race homo sapiens sapiens but we have lots of different ethnicities Funny enough, the ethnicities don't mean that much either. It's culture that is the biggest divider amongst the human ethnicities. But you can't criticize any of those other cultures because you're an oikophobe. So everything wrong with the world must be from your culture. And all the other cultures are great. Never mind that in those other cultures, for example, slavery still is a thing. 
there's a double standard in this. And this is what the oikophobe thrives on. And this is the problem with our Western society. Because we keep talking about everything that is bad in our world, even though we don't know why it's bad. But we can't mention anything that is good in our world. Because by saying something is good, we have to admit that our culture isn't as bad as we like to portray it to be. The oikophobe thrives on this. And as long as we as a society let this happen, well, we're steering to more polarization. And polarization only happens because we can't see eye to eye and we can't talk about it. You don't have to agree with each other to be able to form a society together. But the oikophobe doesn't only not agree with you, the very notion that you may have a point is offensive to them. And that's why our Western society is in dire perils. It's, it's not the influx of foreigners. It's not the influx of people with different ethnicities. Different cultures, yeah, maybe. But the, the soldier from the outside is far less dangerous than the traitor from within. Anyway, criticism as always is more than welcome. Like, share and subscribe if you feel so inclined. And... Uh, I hope to see you all next time.